um, as you can see, this is a short uh, speak. Uh, David will present us the geospatial image content extraction research uh, and also pr uh, make announcement of workshop and the possible partnership opportunities. Okay, thank you. So I'm deeply aware that I'm what stands between you and your lunch. So I'll try and make this as short as I can. Um, uh, and I'm also aware that I'm sort of hijacking a little bit here, uh, for which I little uh, apologize. Um, we are involved with um, DSTL, the research um, group of the MOD, research agency of the MOD, on a project looking at activity-based intelligence. And as part of that project, we are tasked with uh, engaging with research <coughs> community to um, uh, hopefully get your input, uh, 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 get some of your wisdom, get some of that really clever stuff that I didn't even begin to understand. I'm, I'm a coding techie, not that math was amazing. Um, so get some of that sort of input into our project to really um, uh, try and uh, bring in new and exciting stuff. So the way I'd like to do this, um, if I can make my own computer work, this should be interesting. Okay. Um, the way I would like to do this is give you a little bit of background. I've got three or four slides, that's all. Um, a little bit of background about the project, what we're trying to do. Um, uh, tell you about um, the sort of engagement and input that we would welcome and that we would like to uh, uh, engender from the, from the group. And then give you my details so that you can get in touch with me and let you eat your lunch. That's the plan. So, um, as I said, this is a collaboration between DSTL um, and uh, or Harris Geospatial. Um, I won't go into the company detail, but you may have known us as Excelis until about May or June last year, or perhaps you even better know uh, our product set, which is Envy, um, the remote sensed uh, image processing product you may have heard of. So that's who we are. We're, we're in the UK, we're actually at Winnish, uh, near Bracknell. Um, so we were asked to do this project, and um, we started just recently, actually, December 2015. And what we're trying to do is we're trying to build a technology <coughs> demonstrator for automated activity-based intelligence services. So this is all about automation. Okay, this is all about taking um, uh, uh, a platform that we have called the Envy Services Engine, which uh, DSTL are heavily engaged in. That's why they uh, talk to us about this project. It's really a way of being able to deploy algorithms quickly and run them across uh, data. In our case, we're going to be talking about um, remote sensed image processing, probably specifically satellite data. But we also have a remit not to limit things too much. I'm trying to avoid the word geospatial, okay? because although most of the people in this space will be thinking in geospatial terms, maybe some aren't. Okay? Um, uh, I'm also trying to avoid talking about specific image modalities, whether it's SAR or whether it's multispectral or hyperspectral or panchromatic or, 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 or LIDAR, whatever. So, you know, we're looking for engagement in all sorts of different ways. So, part of our task is to engage with the uh, image processing research community. That can be uh, from academia, that can be from industry. Okay, but we are looking for some leading edge um, technologies to collaborate with us on this project. Think of it a little bit like we're, the, we're a sort of micro prime and they're asking us to, to help uh, engage with, with other people. That's kind of why I'm here. Um, so the idea is that we deploy leading edge content extraction algorithms into the system. What we've done is we've, um, um, if I let me just step one step forward here, so what we've done is we've identified some usage scenarios to try and constrain the scope of this project because as someone in a conversation earlier, someone pointed out content extraction is an absolutely vast uh, topic to try and engage. That's kind of done on purpose because we want to hear what you say when we say content extraction. We say tomato, we say tomato. Um, so it's not around, isn't it? I said it in America then, I apologize. Um, so we defined some usage scenarios to try and encapsulate and describe the sorts of things that we're trying to achieve. Um, so um, and we came up with three basic ones. We came up with um, uh, thematic monitoring, for example. Um, an analyst in the defense community will sit there in front of their terminal, and they may want to monitor 
um, a couple of hundred different sites. Okay, that's part of their job specification. And how do they actually prioritize that work? How do they decide which one to look at first? Okay, they hopefully they'll do it by or what we're proposing is that they'll do it by having some automated processing that's rinsing data coming through, is populating some sort of geospatial database or a database of some description, and then he can look at a dashboard, or she can look at a dashboard and say, okay, um, there were some sites where there was a lot of activity, some of your sites there seemed to be none. You'll notice I'm trying to steer clear here, perhaps you'll notice, trying to steer clear of the science of saying, we're going to find every car in that picture. Okay, we know the pitfalls as a commercial software vendor okay, of trying to 100% identify things. Okay, that's not what this is about. This is about getting an, an idea of activity. So we can say, for example, with a simple algorithm that one of my colleagues in the audience has been working on, a simple algorithm that tells us about urban sprawl just through its detection. So it's, that's not rocket science. Okay, we're not saying that is a building, that is a building, that is not. Because we know that someone will come along and go, you said that was a building. But it's not, is it? It's, it's a car park. Right? Your imagery, your, your, your processing is rubbish. Take it away. Okay? That's not what we're trying to do. We're trying to rinse the data. We're trying to get an, uh, uh, an overview. So that, that's an example of one of those sort of service types. So we're looking at thematic monitoring. We're looking at um, what we've called uh, feature activity monitoring, looking for specific things that are going on. So we're first stage planning these usage scenarios. We're doing some high level design. We're putting our software onto an Amazon web instance um, because the collaborators in the project are going to be encouraged to put stuff up there and test it out. It's, a, it's, a, it's an engagement. Um, Next, we have to uh, do engagement. That's, that's me standing here talking to you. That's exchanging emails with various people. That's uh, hopefully exciting you guys enough to um, come along to a workshop and maybe make a presentation. So we have a workshop coming up um, in, in April. And then beyond that, we're going to put some services on this platform and have a hack. I mean, the hackathon is really an integration exercise. Get some people with some good tech into a room and try and get them working, try and get the data going through them. What does it look like? Sticky tape, bits of string, whatever it takes to actually pr provide some sort of capability demonstration. And then beyond that, um, at the end of the project with a demonstration, this is all about making a uh, technology solution that the, can be carried forward to an operational solution in the MOD and maybe a commercial solution somewhere else. Maybe Harris, maybe somebody else. Okay, so this is not about the end game right now. There's a potential, a downstream potential, that hopefully, like me, you can get excited about because it is an opportunity. Okay, so, invitation to, to participate. If you're counting, that's slide number three, so we're close to the end. <laughs> um, so, the invitation to participate is like this. Um, we're looking to engage with people. One of our main met methods of doing this uh, at the moment is with a workshop that's on the 28th of April, uh, right near our offices in Wernersh, uh, holiday in, in Reading. Okay, we're looking for people with interesting technology to um, to come to present. Okay, that's that's number one priority at the moment. We have most of our presentation slots full, um, but we're also uh, opening the door to people who maybe want to come along and uh, interact very much in this sort of environment. See, I told you I was hijacking this meeting. Uh, that's what I meant. Okay, our space is limited. Um, so if you'd like to come along, you'd like to be involved, and especially if you'd like to present, I may twist your arm a bit on that one, then um, please come and see me over lunch, come and grab a card. Uh, I can provide these details uh, uh, if you like. And then the hackathon, um, which we will effectively um, choose the relevant technologies, the hackathon will come along in, um, in late May. So that's it really. I just wanted to ask you guys if you want to give us your input, if you've got something you think is relevant. If you think there's somebody at a university that you know about or a commercial company you think, you know what, they should know about this, please spread the word, tell them, pass on my details. I really want to talk to you about it. Thank you. Um, we have questions in, during lunch. So lunch is serviced outside. 
So uh, let's have lunch and come back at 2, uh, two o'clock. Two o'clock. <coughs> we will continue our session. So you will have plenty of discussion, networking time, uh, one, the three sessions.